Hey everyone, welcome to the wild side and this week we're talking about this tiny tortoise. But why does he look a lot different? Let's find out on this week's wild side. Now what is this kind of tortoise? Well, it is definitely a tortoise. It has all the tortoise parts. It's got a flat carapace and a flat plastron. Well, this is an animal ambassador from the Abilene Zoo, my base camp. And this is Murray, the pancake tortoise. And why do they call them pancake tortoises? Well, two reasons. Reason number one, they're very flat, just like a pancake, which allows these animals to get under rocks because they come from very hot parts in Africa, where they have to avoid that hot African sunlight. It also helps them to avoid predators by getting under those rocks and logs because their carapace and their plastron are a lot more squishy. You can actually push down just a little bit and feel the give in that plastron. It allows the flexibility to get under that rock and avoid that hot sun or avoid the predator. But the second reason they're called pancake tortoises is right here, right at the back. I want you to get close to the, the camera and, or the, the screen. I want you to try to sniff it. We're going to put it through the comments. You can sniff this tortoise. I'm just kidding. They don't smell like pancakes or maple syrup whatsoever. Pancake tortoises are just called pancake tortoises because of how thin they are. Now look at these legs. The legs of the pancake tortoise are similar to that of the sulcata or African spurred tortoise. These little nodules here help to conserve water and can store water for them when they're in the drought seasons in the desert. Now what their body will do is their body will reach into these areas that are storing water and pull the water that's literally so small microscopes can see it into their body to hydrate them. Now they get most of the water they need from the food that they eat, whether it's succulents uh, here in the United States, that would be a cactus or an aloe plant. Uh, but there's succulents all throughout deserts in, in the, all the globe, especially in Africa, or the leafy greens uh, or graze on grasses. Now the Abilene Zoo, Murray gets a variety of, of leafy greens like collard greens, mustard greens, lettuce, and he does get root style vegetables as well, but we have to be careful to feed him not too much fruit. You see videos all the time of tortoises eating big strawberries. Well, the fruit really isn't good for their body. The sugars really don't do well in their digestive system, but they're okay for a treat or two. Now, you can see this animal is like most tortoises. However, when he, he can't pull his limbs 100% in, like some of the other tortoise species, nor can he pull in that head. And that's due to that reduced amount of space on that carapace, which is the top of the shell, or the plastron, which is the bottom. And we can tell he's a boy because he has a much longer tail. Females would have a lot shorter of a tail. And he's got these really gnarly claws. Look at those. Whoa. And these claws help to dig up that sand and that rocky environment that he lives in. Imagine living in the deserts of Africa and you have to dig a hole. You're going to need some pretty sharp claws to get through that earth. Now, pancake tortoises are a very popular pet item. But as always, I steer you away from making any exotic animal a member of your personal pet collection. You see, these creatures require a high amount of heat. His range and his habitat should be anywhere from 75 to 85 degrees at all times. Now, although he doesn't need water, pancake tortoises should have access to water at all times, if, especially under human care. And these animals need to be handled, just like Murray here. The more you work with these animals, the more comfortable they'll be with you. Now, as always, everyone, if you like this video, please click subscribe right here on YouTube or find us on all your social media outlets. And we'll see you in two weeks when we highlight yet another of your favorite species. Until then, remember, conservation rules, find your wild side, and thanks for walking with us each time here on YouTube. I think we'll go have some pancakes. What do you think about IHOP? No, you get lettuce, I get pancakes. It doesn't matter. Bye, everybody.